Uh, sources telling CNBC that American trade negotiations will be heading to China either late this week or sometime next week for face-to-face -face talks, though a final trade deal could still be months away. Joining us right now is the U.S. Uh, Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin, and we're thrilled to have him here. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, we want to get your take uh, right now. Uh, just we want to start out on sort of what is going to happen uh, in, in this next week um, and exactly what you think the timeline looks like. Well, good morning. It's, it's great to be here with you. Uh, it, the timeline on the budget or the timeline on China? I want to go to China first, uh, given that markets this morning, both in China and the U.S., seem to be moving on this expectation that, that uh, there's going to be a, a team, uh, including Lighthizer and potentially yourself, uh, headed there. Right. So Ambassador Lighthizer and I will uh, depart on Monday. We will spend Tuesday and Wednesday in Shanghai. Uh, the reason why we're going to Shanghai is that the host country, China, has invited us there. There's a significance to them of the Shanghai communique and the symbolism, obviously, of, of that important agreement. So hopefully I'll take that as good news that we'll be making progress next week. But I would say there's a lot of issues. So my expectation is that there will, this will be a, followed up with a meeting back in D.C. after this, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to progress. Uh, Mr. Secretary, can you explain sort of where the White House is uh, with Huawei at this point? Because that seems to be such a pivotal uh, chess piece in, in, in these conversations. There are U.S. companies that clearly want to do business uh, with Huawei. Huawei yesterday just announced that they're uh, laying off 600 people in the United States um, and wanted to, wanted to get your thoughts on that. Well, I think, as you know, the president hosted a group of tech CEOs in the Oval Office. Uh, he also had Secretary Ross, myself, Ambassador Lighthizer, Director Kudlow. Um, we had a very good discussion. Part of the discussion was obviously on Huawei. Part of the discussion actually was on other important technology issues and immigration issues. But uh, the Huawei issue is being driven out of commerce. And, and what commerce has said is that they will issue waivers for items that don't impact national security. So where there are commodity products or, or, or issues that don't impact national security, commerce will be proceeding with that. And I think it was a very productive two-way discussion for the president.